Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Her Journey to Self podcast. My name is Tamara and I am your host. Happy Women's History Month. This is also my birth month, so it is a very exciting March over here. (laughs) This month, we are really going to focus on women, the history of women, the present state that we are in, and the future we are all working so hard to create. We are all about women empowerment over here, so it is only fitting. So today we are going to talk about 10 ways that you can celebrate Women's History Month. Number one, learn about women's history. We need to know what we are celebrating, all right? So Women's History Month actually started off as Women's History Week in 1981, but that was not enough, okay? So in 1987, it became known as Women's History Month. We celebrate the contributions that women have made to the United States in a variety of areas such as education, the arts, health, politics, etc. With that being said, I implore you to study the history of all women because just like Black history, the contributions of many women of color have often been left out. Also, we often group all women together when we celebrate or commemorate the achievements of the women's movement. However, truth is not all women were able to benefit from that certain win at that certain time. Prime example, although the 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote, Black women were prevented from exercising that right. And it wasn't truly until the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that Black women were truly able to vote. So it is important to study and really learn about the true history of all women in America. Number two, support and share work by women authors and artists. Man, there are so many dope women writers and actors content creators, podcasters, musicians. Listen, I am definitely throwing myself in this group. All right. (laughs) No shame in my game. Even by you listening to this podcast, watching my YouTube videos, following me on Instagram, you are supporting women. You are part of that empowerment. So let's continue to support and empower each other because it is so important. Number three, shop women-owned businesses. This one is so important, especially right now because four times as many women than men left the workforce because of the pandemic. As of today, nearly 3 million American women have left work. And I completely relate to this because I was unable to return back to work. I have been able to shift my mindset in this area, though, because it has really given me the time to really focus on my creative work and my actual (laughs) career. So that is a plus. Also, so many women have launched businesses during this time or have shifted their focus onto their side hustle so that can become their full-time business. So there is no better time than now to support women-owned businesses. Number four, learn about issues still facing women today. Here are just a few stats. Women still earn less on average compared to men. Workplace stigmas and double standards still exist. Women are underrepresented in leadership, STEM careers, and politics. There's also domestic violence, sexual harassment, trafficking, and rape culture. The fight for women continues, so learn how you can be a voice. Number five, use your platform to spread awareness. The great thing about the social media age is that we have so much access. It is so easy to share information online, to celebrate, and to connect with other like-minded women. Let's use our platforms for good to uplift and bring awareness. Let's support each other. Social media is an excellent tool for that. 
Number six, support a woman's nonprofit. There are so many amazing organizations out there that are empowering women and young girls. You can donate your time, your money, or both. Some great organizations, just to start with, are Girls Who Code, who seek to close the gender gap, pay, and technology, and build the largest pipeline of future female engineers in the United States. Also, Bright pink. They empower women to know their risk and proactively manage their health. And Strong Women, Strong Girls is a nonprofit that empowers girls and women to imagine a broader future by pairing them with female mentors. Mentorship is key. Which leads me to number seven, mentor a young girl. Mentorship is so important. And you may be doing this already and not even realize it. You may have a younger sister, a niece, a cousin, your friend's child. (laughs) You have influence. We all have influence. You don't need a certain title. You have life experience and wisdom that can be shared. And it is so rewarding for them, but also for you. Number eight, host a virtual event. And this can be as simple as having a Zoom party with your closest girlfriends, because how many times do you learn about women creators or organizations or different movements from your friends? Come together, maybe have a glass of wine or some water, (laughs) and share about your current favorite books that you are reading from women authors or the latest webinar that you watched. And if you do have an organization, you can host different women speakers for the month. You can even do Instagram Live where you are highlighting different women leaders on social media. The ideas are endless get creative. Number nine, celebrate you. This one is huge. We are women's history. Don't count yourself out. What are you doing, big or small, to help move the needle forward? How we show up in our communities, how we show up in our organizations, how we show up online, how we show up in our own personal lives, all contributes to the empowerment of women. And number 10, celebrate every day. Just like with all commemorations, the celebration and the appreciation does not need to stop once the month ends. What can you do every day to spark larger conversations and aid in the advancement of women? So I hope that I have sparked some ideas in you and that you will spend this month learning about and celebrating women. So leave your comments down below on YouTube at Tamara J. Morris or on Instagram at Her Journey to Self. Let me know how you are celebrating women this month. So thank you so much for tuning in for another episode. I hope you've been encouraged. Until next time, peace, love, and light.